Six months ago, I started a YouTube Shorts channel that has already gotten over 34 million views. The channel has grown to over 60,000 subscribers and makes me close to $1,000 every month. The best part is, I only spend about one hour per month working on this channel and never have to show my face or voice. Judging how the revenue and subscribers continue to grow as time goes on, I could be sitting on a gold mine. In this video, I'm gonna show you everything I've learned about YouTube Shorts so far. And since YouTube recently launched their ad revenue program with Shorts creators, there's really no better time to get started. You'll be able to follow along the steps I lay out and start seeing similar results. Just make sure you stick around and watch Watch to the end because I'll be doing a deep dive on my analytics and even be sharing the name of my channel. Step one, we need to do market research to make sure we choose a niche that people actually want to watch. To figure this out, I had to sit down and spend about an hour in a self-induced content rabbit hole to really understand what was going viral right now. You'll definitely also want to choose a topic that you actually enjoy so that way you don't lose interest and quit after just a few days. Like I said, we won't even have to create our own content to get millions of views. My channel leverages other viral content online to make money without ever needing to set up a camera or show my face. For my case, I noticed that content about health had been going super viral, specifically Andrew Huberman. If you aren't already familiar with him, he's the number one ranked health podcast and has grown by millions of followers over the last year or so. Since his content about optimizing your health gets millions of views, I figured this would be a safe topic to run with. I also want to mention that I recognize that the audience of people who care about their health would likely be a profitable audience for YouTube ads. I'll be explaining more on that later on. Step two, we need to start creating content. But in order to do this effectively, we're going to need to understand how the YouTube Shorts algorithm works today. If you want to go viral and grow as fast as possible, you really need to focus on one stat. Oh, and by the way, it's not the amount of likes or comments. The only stat you should really be focusing on for YouTube Shorts is is your average view duration, or AVD. For those of you who don't know, the average view duration is how much of the video the average viewer who sees it spends watching it. I could make an entire video on this, but ultimately your only job as a YouTube Shorts creator is to make content that your viewer will watch all the way through. I've actually studied thousands of YouTube Shorts and found that the AVD and video length are the two ingredients you need for success. Look at this graph that shows the video length compared to views. As you can see, posts that are under 10 seconds only get 77,000 views on average, while posts that are longer than 50 seconds get 1.7 million views on average. We can see a clear relationship with longer videos generating more views on average. But what about average view duration? Even if your video is 55 seconds long, it means nothing if the average viewer stops watching after just five seconds. In this graph, we'll compare the average views to the AVD. Here we can see that the higher average view duration, the more the YouTube Shorts algorithm pushes the video and generates more views and ultimately more revenue. But just in case you don't believe me, we can look at some real life stats from my channel. Let's look at the analytics from one of my most viral posts. This one, for example, has over 5 million views and netted around $360. The video is 34 seconds long and the average view duration is 33 seconds, which is wild. Think about that. The average viewer stuck around for about 98% of my video. So the big question is, how did I get them to watch for so long? To answer this, I'll continue sharing my entire production process in hopes that it'll help you achieve similar results. Like I said, I'll be using clips from podcasts about optimizing your health. But if you want to make money from YouTube Shorts, then you have to post original content. Like if I was to just repost clips directly from a podcast, then the channel would never be able to get monetized. But to show you that we can still make money from these, we can look at the YouTube monetization rules. Basically, it says that if we're able to create a thoughtful revision of the content that we didn't originally create, then we can still get monetized. Just make sure you don't take any shortcuts that end up up violating the don'ts because then all of this will be for nothing. So let me show you how to turn a clip from a podcast into your own thoughtful revision and start making money. First, we're going to find a raw podcast clip. For example, I like this one where he talks about getting rid of hiccups. But if I played this whole clip naturally, it would basically go on for five to 10 minutes. Not super ideal for someone scrolling shorts with the attention span of the length of a squirrel. 
Once we have our clip exported, we can drag it over into a video editing software. If you don't have Final Cut or Premiere, you can still use a free editor like vid.io or CapCut. But for the sake of this example, I'll just be using Adobe Premiere since it's simple and what I use to edit all my videos on. Nah. From here, we can begin cutting up this video to make it punchier and more intriguing than the original long version. The first sentence of the video is key because it's either going to hook the viewer or they're going to decide to skip it. But I think this first sentence plays well. Fortunately, there's a simple way to get rid of hiccups, and you can arrive at that simple technique if you understand a little bit about. As you can see though, the second sentence kind of loses me, so I'll go ahead and cut that one out. Next, we can go in and find another good sentence and continue to splice these clips until we have a solid storyboard that makes sense. Once we're happy, we can speed it up slightly and add some background music to make it even more thoughtful and abide by YouTube's monetization rules. But if you do add music, you need to add music that isn't copyrighted. If you just add your favorite Drake song, then you're not gonna be able to monetize your content. I use a few websites to find good copyright free music, but for this example, I'll pull a song from Upbeat. We can find a song that matches and drop it into our studio, and this is how the final clip will sound. Fortunately, there's a simple way to get rid of hiccups. The reason we get hiccups at all is because we experience a spa- Step three, start posting and study what's working. Short form content needs to be punchy and engaging all the way through. You want the viewer to almost need to watch it again to really understand what they just saw. We can explore some of my own analytics to get a better sense of what works and what doesn't. Here's my lifetime dashboard. As you can see, I was able to monetize this channel after just 60 days of starting it. And here was our first spike. I was making about $40 a day and thought we were off to the races, but boy was I wrong. Get some help. I kept trying all these different content strategies, which brought us to this period where we would randomly spike and go viral and then totally struggle right afterwards. But just recently, I really cracked the code by doubling down on what works. Basically, I find clips that are extremely similar to the ones that have already gone viral, meaning similar topics, similar styles, and similar lengths. This strategy has brought a huge surge of success. You wanna be doubling down on what works rather than trying to reinvent the wheel every time you post. It took me a long time to figure this out, and I really wish someone would have shared that when I first started. Step four, we're gonna optimize our videos now, and this is pretty important. What you title your video, the words you use in the description, and the tags you use will all play a key role in how many people will end up seeing your video. So for this stuff, I personally like to use a keyword SEO tool such as TubeBuddy or vidIQ. There are free versions of both and I would just find what works best for you. Step five, now we're gonna automate as much as we can. The cool part is, if you don't wanna spend 15 minutes a day doing all this, you can just sit down and crank through 30 of these at a time. That way, you can schedule out all your videos for the month and pretty much let it run on autopilot. This is great if you're like me and don't have a ton of time to focus on a channel like this, but remember, the more time you invest into learning what what works and what doesn't, the better results you'll have. The reason I don't put more time into this is because I'm focused almost entirely on building this channel and community where I can share my biggest wins in online entrepreneurship and really help you cut through all the BS and see results as soon as possible. Step six, now we need to monetize this thing and I have good news for you. YouTube actually just changed their monetization thresholds to help favor new creators on shorts. Previously, you needed 1,000 subscribers and 10 million shorts views. That's what my channel had to do in that first 60 days to get monetized. But now, you just need 500 subscribers and 3 million views in the last 90 days, which is way more achievable. But here's where monetization gets interesting and why step one, choosing a niche, is so important. How much YouTube pays you directly depends on what your videos are about. The CPM, or cost per 1,000 views, is super important. That's the amount that advertisers pay per 1,000 views on your video. While the average YouTube YouTube channel has a CPM of around $2, my channel has a super high CPM of over $10. But why? To answer that, we just need to take a look at my audience, which is mostly from the US, UK, and other countries with people who spend a lot of money consuming. Since my niche is all about health, it's safe for advertisers to assume that my audience cares about their health and is willing to pay to maintain it. That's a big part of the reason I initially chose this niche and am able to earn so much money with a relatively small audience. I have friends who have shorts channels with over 500,000 subscribers, but they make significantly less than me because their niche attracts the wrong audience. We can take monetization a step further and make even more money. For each video, I put a list of affiliate links and different products that are health related. Anytime someone buys something from one of these links, I get paid through an affiliate program. 
Now, I'm not promoting anything in this video, but the one I use is Amazon just because they have so many products to choose from and most of the sellers have some sort of an affiliate deal. Step seven is to outlast. I saw a stat that over 50% of people who start a YouTube channel only did one video. They made one video and then they just quit. If that's the state of the competition, then I like my chances and you should too. I'm the kind of person that will try 50 different videos doing different things before I would ever consider quitting. So last thing, I really considered not showing you guys the name of my channel because if you go subscribe to it and don't engage with it, then it's gonna end up hurting the average view durations and slow down my growth. But I made a commitment to myself to always keep it real with you guys. So the name of my channel is Insights Lab, but please only subscribe if you're actually interested in the content. If you go through with this, you can use the comment section below to drop a link to your new YouTube Shorts channel. Let's all help each other out by subscribing to each other's channels. And if YouTube Shorts isn't really your thing, but you're still looking looking for ways to make money online, don't worry. Later this month, I'll be showing you how I made over $300,000 off one social media platform last year. I've got some absolute banger videos coming for you soon, so stay tuned and take it easy, everyone.